Okay, lovely. So now we're going to go through the integration between Touchday and Airbnb. So first we'll click on integrations at the top of the page. And just underneath the Airbnb logo, we click connect. Lovely. Here we have a nice little text box, and this is to explain that our Airbnb integration is powered by our partnership with Hospitable Connect. Hospitable Connect bridges the gap between Airbnb's APIs and Touchday. So in order to complete the connection, you need to authorize Hospitable Connect to link your Airbnb account to Touchday. The authorization is required to access your Airbnb data through the APIs, but rest assured, both Touchday and Hospitable Connect cannot view or modify your listing, pricing, or account data. Your data is always safe. So we'll click Connect and we'll carry on through. Lovely, great. So here we are with our friends from Hospitable Connect and we're going to click the Connect My Airbnb Account button. Fab. This is redirecting to Airbnb. Super, so now we're going to import the listings that we can see and there's two here. Great, we want those two, so we're going to click connect. Super, so now we're all connected and we're going to go back into touch day. Click that button there. And so now we're on the match tab and we're going to match our touch day guides to our Airbnb listings. So we can see we have our hospitable connect demo, which is the wonderful name of our, uh, our guide in this account. And we've match that to secluded getaway mountain views hot tub. Great. And that's all we want to match right now. So we click the match selected button. You can see the progress while we're matching. Shouldn't take more than a few moments. Lovely. Super. And there we can see that actually we've matched two. So we've matched uh, our two Airbnb listings to our two touch day guides. And you can see uh, to the little button to the right where it says unmatch, clearly they're, they're nicely matched, wonderful. Now, if we had more Airbnb listings where we didn't have touch day guides already created, uh, we would go to the import tab next. So if we can click on the import tab, there are, in this case, there are no more Airbnb listings to import, but if there were, this is where you would come to import them and create new guides so then they would match up, super. So the next thing to do is to go to our message templates. Lovely. So if you could click on memo at the top bar, super. And th this is memo, our touch day's messaging tool. Um, and we have special templates that have been made just for Airbnb. So if we click on the add Airbnb template button, the lovely gray button there, you can see there are three templates that exist. To demo this for you, we're going to choose the post booking option. This opens up the editor of this template. So what we're going to do, um, so this is the message that will be sent as soon as the booking has been made. So we want that schedule to be set as immediate and you can come back and change these settings anytime. But for now, we'll stay with immediate and we want the criteria to always send because we always want this message to send. And here you can see the message template has already been created. The guest's name will be automatically populated because we pulled that information from Airbnb. The guide name will also be automatically populated and the link, the trackable link to your touch day guidebook is embedded in the message as well. So we'll click submit now. And you can see that that message template has been set up and it has an active status. Fantastic, super. So now we're going to do the fun part, which is the sync. So if we go back to the integrations page, using that lovely button at the top, and we'll go to sync the sync bookings option along that uh, that ribbon. Super. So we want to sync for both of the listings that we've imported. So we'll click both of those and then we'll click sync selected. Lovely. And one of the things to point out in our sync options, you can choose either all bookings or new bookings only so that we don't have any duplicate messages we're going to choose the new bookings only option. Great, so that's done. So now we're going to switch to a different screen and we're going to show what happens when a reservation is made by a guest. Now, Emily, you can stop sharing and I will pick up sharing. Drew is going to be our guest for today. Great.
Lovely. So this is the beautiful log cabin. I definitely want to go visit. And Drew is going to place a reservation. A rare find. Nice. <laughs> That's great. 6292. Yep. <laughs> Wonderful. I definitely need to come and visit. It looks pretty nice. Love a log cabin. Super. So Airbnb has done its thing. Reservation is confirmed. Wonderful. Um, okay. So Drew is now going to go into his Airbnb account and he can see that the reservation has been made. Fantastic. And now if we pop back into touch day with Emily. Super. And if we go back to the memo tab at the top, and we go to invitations, which is next to, yep, yeah, lovely. We can see, wonderful, that that reservation has been automatically pulled in through the integration. So we can see which guide this relates to, which is what we've called the Hospitable Connect demo. We can see the name of the guest, Drew Pearson, has been pulled in. We don't have the email, because of course those aren't shared anymore by Airbnb, but we do have the phone number, which is pretty cool. And we can see that the guidebook link and the message has been sent. It hasn't been viewed yet uh, by Drew, um, but that, that's just for now. So if we now pop back into uh, Drew's Airbnb and let's see okay. that message that has sent through. Okay. Yeah, let's go check in my account and you can actually see it uh, basically right away. Bam, there it is. Amazing. So that's the message that has been sent from Touchday directly into the Airbnb inbox. And Drew, will you click on that lovely guidebook link so we can take a look? <laughs> now, this is the desktop view. If a guest was doing this from their mobile, they'd have the, the mobile view. Uh, and we can see this has taken us through to a demo guidebook that has all the lovely information about the property. Fantastic. And that's it. It's mega, mega simple. Uh, it's a super quick way to get up and running and get uh, a lot more automation uh, into your Airbnb life and to make sure that guests get access to your guidebook.